Hello everyone, as you may have noted in the previous shows, I mentioned that I have a brand new monitor, this one. The LG name too long and too complicated to remember involving a lot of numbers and very few letters, not actual words. Well, it's a good monitor, I like it, I made a review of it, but it has one slight tiny itsy bitsy fail. It has one dead pixel that's almost close to the center of the screen, not right at the center, it's off center a bit, so it's a bit annoying to look at, especially above white backgrounds, which is kind of a pain because I do a lot of writing on white backgrounds and that makes it kind of annoying. In the long term it will drive me insane, so I don't myself. There has to be a way to fix this. Doesn't that mean that pixels show up on a lot of things? On phones, on tablets, on TVs, on monitors, they show up everywhere where there's a a panel, a LCD panel that has, you know, pixels on it. So all of them have a chance to produce dead pixels. So there must be a way to fix it. So I thought myself, okay, let's see if I can actually fix this. And I'm gonna document every step of it. So stay tuned, if you have uh, your own problems with dead pixels, this may help you. Because I'm gonna go through each step, each method, and see if any of them actually works. Now the first and most important part is to actually figure out if you have a dead pixel or just a stuck one. There is a bit of a difference between them because a stuck pixel will still work. You can absolutely make it functional. A dead pixel, one that isn't like functional, that's not something you can actually repair by yourself using household tools and not a hammer. I do not recommend using a hammer to fix the pixel, you will most likely end up creating more dead pixels. Unless your aim was to make the complete panel filled with dead pixels, then yeah, that would be a proper tool. Otherwise, do not. So, how do you figure this out? Well, look at the dead pixel. The pixel that's not lighting up properly. Does it actually show any sort of light, any sort of color? If it's completely black in any situation, if you drag a rainbow uh, thing over it, like a, just a, a image with a rainbow on it, with a, the entire spectrum of visible light, if you drag it around it, if it never changes any sort of color, if it doesn't show any of those colors, it doesn't blend in into the environment at all, into the background, then that pixel is dead. But if it shows any of them, then it's not actually dead. It's just not properly functioning. Even when you have a completely black background, if you can still see a white light coming from that pixel, then it's not dead, absolutely not. It just may be a bit defective. So, how can you fix it? There are multiple methods that you can try. Uh, one of them, uh, the most easy, if you will, is to gently apply some pressure onto the screen. Do not, I repeat, do not touch it with your bare hands, with your greasy little itsy bitsy fingers, you will absolutely ruin the finish on the monitor. Panels like these with the anti-glare coating are incredibly hard to clean, they are a pain, do not touch them with your bare hands. If someone does touch them with your bare hands, consider evicting them from your life because they do not want you to be happy. Got it? Okay. So use something that, I don't know, use a cloth a very very soft cloth that doesn't uh, flake, use uh, microfiber, uh, the microfiber uh, wipes that usually are used for cleaning these kind of, uh, of screens and use uh, like uh, the eraser edge of a pencil or uh, eraser itself and gently apply pressure while holding up the monitor, you don't want to actually tip the monitor over, apply slight pressure to the area, not a lot of it, do not punch through it. Just a little tiny pressure. You do that because there may be an issue with the contact of the LCD, of the uh, LED itself in the LCD, not being uh, completely uh, set at first. So you may need to, you know, push it back a bit into where it needs to be to actually make proper contact. If it works, congratulations, you now have a completely working non dead pixel related monitor. Everything is fine. If it doesn't, well, there's other ways. Here's the thing, uh, LCDs, uh, well, the LEDs on them, 
uh, have a, a, a strange way of functioning. They're they're not like CRT monitors. They're not like CRT cathode ray tubes. They're what you may call independent electrical devices. So you can actually physically power them up the wrong way around. According to what I found on the web, if you shine a very bright light, not 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 a hot light, not a hot light, just a bright light, and do not get get it like completely close to the screen. If you shine a light at the screen, that will create a sort of external energy input for the LED, for the LCD and the LED, which may help it to sort of uh, rejuvenate itself, or at least remembered hey i'm supposed to be on okay i'm gonna turn on and then everything lights up this often works when combined with um, an input of sound as well one that is attuned to the frequency of uh, the actual electricity that goes through the monitor itself and uh, the um, america is at 60 hertz around here in europe it's 50 hertz so you have to play back that sound on a speaker that can you know output sound that that's that low so maybe a high-end phone or you know your your own pc speakers or whatever you can get and the combination of those i've seen they can bring back um, pixels that were stuck on a different color they were not properly functioning now it won't bring back a dead completely dead pixel those again are dead but it will help you in certain cases very very limited cases now if that itself does not work there is also the option of trying to actively uh, force everything around the area of the dead pixel to uh, come back to life in a big way. You have to induce very, very sudden, very drastic electrical changes in that area. So what you have to do is go around the web and you'll find very easily all sorts of even YouTube videos or applications that run in your browser that um, very quickly change the colors and the brightness settings in a certain area. This will, well, for one thing, you, if you have problems with epilepsy, do not try this. Get someone else to do it for you because the quick interchange of color will will absolutely just ruin your head. But uh, it may have an effect of repairing your um, your display due to the changes, like the sudden, very quick changes in intensity and color. That will trigger a very very high um, energy. Um, input into the LEDs around that area and that may help bring back to life the uh, the LCD in the LED in question it may rejuvenate it may make it realize hey you know what everybody's here is partying I should be partying too and oh look there is a uh, open electricity connection I should uh, connect that and hey that now it works but again it's not something that will work instantly uh, you will have to leave your computer doing that for at least 10 minutes and uh, you are not guaranteed success on account of not every problem being related to you know something that's like that uh, something that requires sort of energy bridge to be built up so whatever thing was blocking the led from connecting to the panel properly uh, would be removed well, now let's say that that doesn't work either what are you left with well uh, let's anal analyze this again if your pixel is completely dead if it doesn't actually display anything at all then you're out of luck but if it does display color like any kind of color color you may still have a bit of a chance to rejuvenate it to get it to work again but there is um there is one more thing that you have to keep in mind apart from the dog being very cute Pixels are made of uh, three sub pixels. You have your red, your blue, and your green pixels. These compose every color you see on the monitors behind me, either that one with the wallpapers I got at the web or that one with the, uh, you know, I could certainly have that site, the, um, the canvas cycling in HTML5 color thing had the option to switch between all the backgrounds because they're they're quite beautiful like these things are beautiful i'm gonna put the website in the description because they're there's you're just amazing um to display the colors properly each of these sub pixels pixels has to be uh, addressed in a different way so let's say you want to show red you're gonna if you want to show pure red pure red or a dog like that one you have to or that's a wolf i think you have to this well that wasn't a red dog that's 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 a joke from romania if you're if you're a fan of football 
If you want to show the color red, you're going to have to just light up the red subpixel and disable every other subpixel. If you're going to show a red that's not pure, that has, you know, it, it, it's a shade of red, then you have to, you're going to have to light up the other ones a bit so there will be a bit more brightness in the red and, you know, uh, kind of take the edge of it the edge of it so you're gonna have to light up green and blue as well same goes for when you have to display other colors when you have to display yellow you're actually displaying a combination of multiple colors because that's uh, you don't have a, a yellow led in the um in the monitor you have a green one and the yellow is a combination between what was it green and blue i think somewhere around there uh, the, the computers computers work a bit differently i mean we, we thought that uh, in school that yellow is a com the green is a combination of blue and yellow um Green is actually used to make yellow in computing, which is kind of funny, but that's how it works. And uh, you need all of them, you need all the, all the colors to properly display something. So if you see that when you're moving across a rainbow uh, type uh, image, uh, you, if you're moving it, moving it across the pixel, that one of them repeatedly refused to, to show up, refused to light up, then that pixel may be dead. So if you're wondering, did I succeed? Well, um, you've seen the test, you've seen my attempts to bring it back, and uh, it's still there. It's still there because the green subpixel is dead. The pixel itself can display blue, it will display red, it will display black. It will not display white because it cannot, because it does not have the functional green subpixel. It will display absolutely perfect blue it will display perfect red it will not display shades uh, lower end shades of blue or red and it will not do anything when it comes to green or yellow or things that require a bit more of a combination between any of those that require the color green but i think it can show brown you know combinations of uh, blue and red that it can do as long as there is not any green in there but otherwise it's um it's unfixable in my case. I, I, I have tried fixing it over the weekend using all the methods I've showed you today. Some of them I've seen working again, that's why I use them, but none of them can actually fix an absolutely dead subpixel, so that's uh, kind of a shame. But uh, at least if you have the same trouble, you may still have a chance, like if your pixel isn't completely dead, it may be revived, but in my case uh, there was no hope to begin with. Though I still had some in case, you know, it actually happened, but it didn't. So, um, yeah, that's a bit anticlimactic, I know, but hey, maybe you had fun watching the uh, monitor being put to the test and tortured in many, many ways and uh, having been shoved in its face, well, if it had a face, a flashlight and a speaker. I'm going to be back next week with a review of the um, Gamdia Sizu something mouse. It's over there. I can't take it up because the cord is uh, tangled around the other month there. But it's it's a mouse I've uh, been using it for about a month and it's well, you're going to see the review. Uh, also remember we have shows every day. So check them out or don't. Your choice. Unlike my choice to have a monitor with no dead pixels. And it's going to drive me insane. It'll absolutely drive me insane. And you're going to see it live. Goodbye.